So welcome back guys, uh, we continue on our Adobe Premiere Pro video editing tutorial series. Here you can see that on a certain clip we have rendered a certain type of a preset. In fact this is nothing but maybe like if you think about it, if you have used any of the Samsung new mobile phones you can apply filters. So you can think of applying filters to your selected clip. So we will do this right from the start. So what I can do is I have uh, basically installed Adobe Premiere Pro. Let me just open up a new project. So that you know you guys can actually follow along whatever I do. So I will just remove this clip. Just select the clip. Press backspace. And if you're thinking what kind of workspace I'm using right now, I'm using the color workspace. Simply go to window, go to workspaces, select color. I like this workspace because it gives me a lot of liberty of looking at the various clips and other things. Okay, first of all, I need the clip. So I go to media browser, I try and browse for my clip. And say this is the clip which I want. Uh, no, actually not this one. I think this is the one. Okay, maybe this is the one. So I simply double click on this and you can see that the source clip has now changed to this. Now for me to take it into sequence or into the timeline, something that I have dealt in my earlier tutorials, I simply keep the left click pressed as I hover over the clip and bring the footage down on my timeline. So here you go, the timeline has been selected. Now you can see like uh, basically I have this clip I need to give it a certain correction right I'll just first play it okay now you can see towards the right we have this clip which reflects this DSCN0250 which has been selected so this is basically the clip which is now uh, being rendered by the program suppose I want to give it a certain filter I have these various filters available with me Say I want to give it the BMC filter, BMC raw 5600K filter. Here it's how it shall look. In fact, you can even uh, increase the white balance or things which you think would make the video look good. And you can clearly see how different now it looks. So this is how you can actually apply filters, change exposure, various different settings. So like, you know, this all can be done. So you can increase the exposure, decrease it or like, do various stuff like uh, increase the highlights keep it sharp have shadows maybe no it really depends on what you want what do you think makes your footage look more clean so that's it i mean i just wanted to make this tutorial to explain like uh, how you can go ahead and apply filters onto your footage using Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you so much guys. Until next time, it's me, Amnan, signing off.